How's everybody doing? Uh, Wayne Barham, Dark Effects TV here uh, to bring you a very quick tutorial uh, to go along with the one that I just did uh, with uh, removing an object from a background and putting it on a different background. And in this case, we removed my son here from the background uh, the day that he got his hair straightened. Usually he's got really puffy hair and it's just all over the place and uh, but he likes to get it straightened every once in a while to give himself a, a different look. And so uh, what we're going to do here is that I'm going to uh, be using this image in another project later on and one of the things that I'm going to do with it is that I'm going to uh, sort of give my ghostly appearance and uh, in this case we're going to give his eyes sort of like a fiery look. And uh, so what we're going to do right now is uh, let's zoom into the image. And so it goes along with this shirt here. So we're going to give his eyes here a fiery look to his eyes. And there's probably different ways of doing this, or I should say to his eye, because the other one is hidden somewhere up underneath his hair. So there's other ways of doing it, but the way I'm going to do it here is that I'm going to remove just the area around here and then I'm going to take this image of uh, this is actually fire from a charcoal grill and so I'm going to bring this image in and put it right here behind his eye like I said this center part is going to stay the same but just this area around here is going to have the fire in it so let's go ahead and get started so let's uh, zoom in just a little bit closer here I don't want his hair to move. I want his hair to stay just like that. So let's get in as close as we can. And let's click on the eraser tool and bring that thing way on down. That should do it. So let's. It's hard to see where his pupil is at. That's where his pupil is at, so go ahead and start removing that part. This is actually really bad on the eyes, your eyes, while doing this. The reason why I'm leaving the hair alone is that you want this to look as natural as possible. That way it sort of adds into the effect. So it's best to take your time on it. Zoom back out here. <laughs> and as you can see, it sort of looks like he belongs in some game or something, like he's going to shoot something out of his eye. Sort of like a Terminator type feel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our selection tool and uh, this is sort of like two tutorials in one. Uh, the good thing about Photoshop CS5, I'm not sure if CS4 has it or not, it might. Uh, so uh, you can uh, post a comment and let me know if it does, I just, I just don't remember. But what you do is you take the image here, you can drag it up and then you can actually drop it on here really big image so let's edit transform scale and let's get our let's get out of here this is a huge image let's go ahead and get this thing scaled down some back into the image here and let's move it up underneath here apply it ok 
Okay, now let's um, zoom in. And then let's try to There we go, right there. And that should do it. Might want to remove just a little bit more around his eye. Let's go right up in here. Okay, uh, I had to back out of that. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can hit Control, Alt, and Z to back out. And uh, back that just a little bit too far there, so let's move this back over. Okay, make sure that you select the right layer before you start uh, erasing or masking things out. If not, then you do like what I just did there. Make this just a little bit wider. And so we don't want to mess with his pupil. We want that to stay the same. Go up here just a little bit more so it can match in with the roundness here. And that should do it. So let's zoom out. And as you can tell, that does look awfully weird or spooky or demonic or whatever you want to call it but anyway uh, that's how you uh, can add in uh, uh, different objects into your images by removing out uh, what you see and put in something behind it and like I said you want to make it look as natural as possible so keeping the hair strands there it looks like his eye is actually on fire which sort of goes with the uh, the strawberry blonde type hair that he has. So um, this is Wayne Barron, Dark Effects TV. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and um, check out the last one that I just posted, uh, which is named Photoshop CS5 Removed from Background and Put on Green Screen. And so uh, uh, also I'm going to be posting one later on this afternoon that's going to be this image. Uh, put into a old home, uh, a home that I took uh, in Broadway, North Carolina. I took a picture of one that is just it's the the house is so cool. You're gonna love it. So uh, uh, hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, Wayne Brand Dark Effects TV. Have a rocking weekend.